Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am riding this. This is the Royal Enfield Bullet 350, the new bullet. Actually, this is the key of the Himalayan because the key of the bullet is right inside. Now, this is Royal Enfield's oldest running nameplate and earlier Royal Enfield meant bullet and vice versa. This is exactly like a classic 350. Only thing is there are certain design changes to this motorcycle. So, the whole model is kind of pointless. But anyways, let's come to it. Firstly, it has got absolutely no LED. Yes, everything on this motorcycle is halogen. Halogen, halogen, halogen. सब कुछ हेलोजे देखो रे ऑब्वियसली पुट एलईडीज हियर सो दिस इज ऑब्वियसली द इंडिकेटर इट हैज गॉट हैजर्ड लाइट सो हैजर्ड लाइट्स आर ऑन एट द मोमेंट राउंड हेडलाइट बिकॉज़ दैट्स द क्लासिक वे ऑफ डूइंग थिंग्स ओके डोंट से क्लासिक टू मच क्रोम हियर ऑन द क्लासिक यू आल्सो गेट दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ अ टोपी बट देयर इज नन हियर दीस आर द पायलट लाइट्स व्हिच आर सिमिलर अगेन टू द क्लासिक इन फैक्ट आई एम गोइंग टू टर्न ऑन द हाई बीम सो देयर यू कैन सी कम ऑन रॉयल एनफील्ड वी आर लिविंग इन 2023 वी नीड मोर पावरफुल हेडलाइट्स बट रॉयल एनफील्ड बिलीव्स दैट पीपल हु डिलीवर मिल्क डोंट रियली नीड एलईडीज बिकॉज़ दैट्स द मेजॉरिटी यूज of a bullet that's offensive the old school guys love a black bullet and that's exactly what is right in front of you so in terms of ground clearance it's 170 mm seat height is 805 mm you get a 13 liter fuel tank tire size up front is 119 19 300 mm disc bibri brakes by brembo that is by brem by bri whatever by bre however i don't know how to pronounce that there's a reflector here some exposed wires obviously that is for the braking system it has to be there somewhere right tube type tires spoke wheels and the j platform the 350 cc engine which is having the thump because of the long stroke nature there is the horn of the motorcycle in earlier bullets behind this was the battery but behind this is the injector so this is kind of useless in fact when compared to the classic 350 what is different some difference here because this 3d logo is slightly different with the king sort of a logo and uh, the classic 350 also has a rubber pad here so you can lock your knees right there this does not and beautiful pin stripes in fact lower models don't even have the pin stripes which is quite surprising the classic 350 has a split seat setup this has a single piece seat which is actually quite comfortable and nice and the other change happens to be at the rear fender and the housing for the brake light that has also changed so those are the changes to this motorcycle in fact the exhaust is really pumping in air right now i love the fact that it is so much more better when compared to the older royal enfield bullet 270 mm disc at the rear 120 80 18 rear tire which is decent size and gets the job done because this bike is not really going to go really fast okay grab rail to hold on to or to actually put your milk buckets right there you can hang them if you so wish just kidding but yes it looks really very lovely what a beautiful looking motorcycle staying true to the original but it's basically a classic 350 nonetheless this is to turn off the motorcycle so it's very smooth a bike and this is the switch for the hazards we're going to turn it off Oh my god <laughs> everything feels quite tight in fact you've got rubber here royal enfield written on the foot pegs as well both at the front as well as the rear and when i come to the other side I realize that the sari guard is as intrusive as ever so you can sit sideways by putting your foot right here dual suspension setup at the rear and in the classic 350 things are a bit oval here here they are rectangular so there's a difference there as well says royal enfield here engine looks nice with half black finishing on the lower half i don't know why that's done but it is what it is here is the control for the headlights this is for the indicators the horn okay that's nice and loud and i think tipper navigation is optional so this is where it is i think it is standard on higher trims of the classic 350 there is the analog speedometer marked all the way to a optimistic 160 kilometers per hour which you can reach in your dreams of course but in the classic 350 slightly different but all this is very much similar you get a display here with a fuel meter it's saying that you are very eco friendly right now that is the odometer and you can browse through twin trip meters along with a clock that's about it so this is the button to do the same let's rev it oh my goodness i really like the sound of this motorcycle because it has the thump okay the handlebar is now 20 mm taller so for a more upright riding position so your chhati can be proudly displayed to the world out there and that's about it those are the changes to the royal enfield bullet 350 which is nothing but a classic 350 let's start riding right away all right let's start on the motorcycle which means first have to turn this on does a full swipe up and there the motorcycle rolls to life and off we are straight away oh my god this is just like a classic 350 only thing is now the handlebar is like raised by 20 mm resulting in a more upright riding position 
oh my god i can hear the thump and all but compared to the older bullet this is so refreshing because the vibration have reduced dramatically in fact there are no vibes lower end of the rev range the vibes only come in the higher end of the rev range that is how smooth this motorcycle is now it produces 20.2 horsepower at 6100 rpm the number 6100 is important to tell you that what is exactly the redline of this motorcycle should be around that only somewhere around 66500 rpm is where it will redline the important number here is the torque which is 27 newton meters now this weighs 195 kgs it's a heavy motorcycle but the feel of this motorcycle is amazing it is not made like a gun it definitely does not go like a bullet it's more like a laser tag bullet that it doesn't have the kind of performance you would expect but you don't need the performance because it's all about the feel and in terms of feel the bullet is just amazing firstly i feel like the king of the road i feel like i'm kalin bhaiya right now and going to get some kattas sabas beta but that is the to use a bullet that is the the feel of the spike is what makes this bullet so amazing and the feel is very similar to the classic firstly the seat is just too cushiony it's too soft it's too nice when compared to the classic 350 so that is another very interesting bit about this motorcycle you know what royal enfield was planning maybe we should discontinue this particular motorcycle because what is the need of this bike when the classic 350 was doing so well but then there was still demand for the older bullet so they decided let's bring the newer one as well and this is iconic because it has been on sale since 75 years so it is royal enfield's oldest running name plate in fact bullet meant royal enfield and royal enfield meant bullet that is the kind of uh, following and that is how important this particular motorcycle is the bullet now we are going to come to halt brakes are actually very good yeah, i am so impressed and here we are time to launch and off we go first gear 45 km per hour second gear 80 km per hour third gear it will reach 100 km per hour into fourth my goodness the wind blast is just in freaking sane and now the bike dies it doesn't have any more points of your come into fifth gear of course and that is it the top speed is 120 km per hour when you go down like this but yeah the <laughs> bike doesn't have much top end performance is not supposed to it's a bike for leisure riding it's a bike when you just want to enjoy the open road and the feel is something which makes it so desirable that even i want to buy one a black freaking bullet and a can of milk in the rear that's all you need in life to make a statement and i'm about to whoop your old ass okay ride quality is very good it does bounce a bit because of the soft suspension but ride is good handling is good by bullet standards of course and the vibrations are all but gone yeah the vibrations are not there only it's so freaking smooth a motorcycle it's just freaking amazing how smooth this bike has become so 349 cc single cylinder engine which is air cooled and it is fuel injected so how do they keep the thump alive because this is a long stroke motor now it rides very slowly and then it brings a thump of course how was the older bike so bad well because the engine was actually a stressed member of the chassis in that case they can reduce the weight by not having a complete chassis at the front side because the engine is supported by the chassis of course so that's how the engine uh, is a stress member of the chassis because the engine is actually supporting the chassis or vice versa however you want to put that and the result was that uh, it uh, was hard mounted the engine was hard mounted to the chassis and then it will obviously vibrate now and then it don't have a counter balancer so this one has a balancer shaft and that's the reason the vibrations have been reduced dramatically yet the feel is not there of the older uc unit construction engine which was horrible but <laughs> at least i'm not vibrating in my sleep anymore then they had the cast iron engine which was before the uc the purists swear by that because even my uncle who's in the army has one and he just loves it it's a different thing it vibrates your nuts out but then now most people are done with vibration they want a smooth motorcycle along with the feel and this bike offers you the feel there are i think three variants base mid and high or something of that sort price range starts at 2.11 lakhs goes all the way to 2.6 lakhs and for a weekend riding motorcycle this bullet 350 does really very well in fact i think i should just shut up for a minute and just you can see on some cool music how it is to ride this motorcycle okay coolness done let's get to back to the motorcycle it's very predictable it's easy to ride it's not very nimble or agile but it doesn't have to be 
it's a fantastic motorcycle i really like it the bullet 350 is much more affordable when compared to the classic 350 but in essence it is nothing but the classic 350 with a different design and the iconic name of the bullet so if you're looking to buy something which has history attached to it get this one it is definitely quite good and since royal enfield has already done all the beta testing on current current uh, classic 350 customers you don't have to think twice before getting the bullet 350 because everything on this motorcycle all the cycle parts are identical to the classic 350 everything each and everything is the same yeah there's nothing different mechanically even the engine tune is the same royal enfield has a lot of 350 cc motorcycles like the meteor then there's the hunter then there's the classic all the three have different state of tunes for the engine the bullet and the classic 350 have the same state of tune it's not very easy to go through traffic filtering like that because yes this is <laughs> a heavy motorcycle now the thing is i'm just going to give a right indicator we are going to take a u-turn here pump the brakes oh yeah baby okay let's take a u-turn so it's a heavy bike it's not going to be that easy but yes once you get used to it you're not going to complain much it's not about speed it's about the feel here completely about the feel in fact i'm going to come to a halt here so you can listen to a bit of the thump it has this thump while idling as well okay duk, 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 duk. into first gear and off we go It's best between 70 to 90 kilometers per hour. Beyond that, vibrations are plenty. Vibes can be felt on the foot pegs, on the handlebar, almost everywhere because obviously single cylinder motor, right? So it has to have the vibrations plus long stroke motor. So all these are a recipe for a bit of a vibration which can be felt everywhere but less on the seat somehow so that's something which royal enfield has definitely done a good job a fuel efficiency is somewhere between 30 to 35 kilometers per liter which isn't bad at all but considering uh, this is a decently powerful and torquey motorcycle you're not going to complain much about it now you might be wondering is there going to be a 650 cc version of this motorcycle Ladies, hey. sorry madam i don't think so because there's the interceptor 650 so why will they have a bullet 650 because the bullet is sort of their entry level but now there's the hunter so why is this motor cycle the entry level it is not the hunter is the more affordable one but it's nice how royal enfield is taking the j platform and this 350cc engine and making multiple motorcycles from the same and now i think royal enfield's motorcycle lineup is quite complete with the bullet classic meteor super meteor hunter and then the interceptor continental gt and whatnot as a motorcycle i really like the bullet 350 but i do question its existence because when there is a classic 350 why would i want to buy this one i just get the classic 350 instead so guys this is my vlog of the royal enfield bullet 350 the best bullet yet it doesn't go like a bullet but at least it doesn't cost as much as say a classic 350 and that is the only reason if you are a bit miserly you want to save some money you're going to buy this over the classic 350 i see no other reason because no topi bhi nahi di yaar topi bhi nikal di headlights aise kaise kar sakte hain okay i can't see much in the mirrors other than my arms so yes i need to hit the gym